Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com. In today's episode of The 10 Minute Gardener, we're talking about how to deal with your Jerusalem artichokes to get them ready for the winter. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How To Garden, there's a link directly below this film. Click on that, input your email address. It means every single time we put a new film, we can let you know, and you also get access to our free monthly newsletter. What I want to show you is how big your Jerusalem artichokes should be getting if they're growing well. Now I'm six foot, I suspect the top of these is probably at least 15 feet tall. They are right up there and right at the very, very top of these bright yellow tiny flowers. That's because it's a member of the sunflower family. Uh, in fact, it has nothing to do with Jerusalem whatsoever. A lot of people think that uh, Jerusalem is a derivative of uh, an Italian word, which means sun follower. Um, so it, you know, it, it's more likely to be that. But when they're looking like this, when they're starting to go brown, when the leaves are starting to grow brown, what you need to do is get your secateurs and you need to take off all of the growing points down to about a foot above the ground so that all of this foliage can either go into your compost heap or through a shredder first because what's happening now is the actual tubers are sitting under the ground they're sitting under here and once you've cut it down to about a foot we can just leave them in the ground and we can crop them as we need them through the winter so as soon as they start to get brown get them off because all these will do is encourage uh, disease and moles to start to sit within this bed so i'll crop this right down you can see the pile of stuff that you'll end up with um, and what it should look like before it goes to the winter when you've cleared it away you're left with the frame that we put in earlier remember this frame was just to support the sunflowers and uh, sunflowers the artichokes and we've got about a foot of stalk sticking up if you live in a fairly mild area you can leave them just like this and then lift them when you want to use these artichokes or if you suspect it'll be quite frosty or uh, you're in a very cold area you can surround these with dry straw um, and that's better because you don't want <coughs> um, to feed these yet. You don't want to put manure or compost on them. Come next year when you replant this bed in the next spring, that's what you'd do. If you've never seen a Jerusalem artichoke, I'll just see if I can work some of these up. <coughs> these are what we're looking for these knobbly white tubers. They make a fantastic soup. Uh, one of my favourite ways to use them is to make a Jerusalem artichoke risotto. In fact, it's one of the risottos on my um, 12 risottos, three for each season uh, film that I did. Very gently scrub them with a scrubbing brush and then roast them in the oven in small amounts. They are reputed to give you wind, but I think it's something you get used to. Not the wind, I think your body gets used to the Jerusalem artichokes. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching Learn How To Guard. Until next time, bye.